Alright, we're back. And I, yeah. Basically, that's my last ferry, and I don't really care because I just want to be done with this. Okay, so here's something I thought of after I made the video last time. Yeah, could have just done that and saved ourselves a crap load of time and probably effort. Alright, so now we can outspeed speed this damn thing. And bum jump. Without any difficulty whatsoever. And there's your stupid hard optional, not hard at all, not optional puzzle. You know, whatever. Alright, but anyway. Now... Alright, we got the mushroom. Again, there it is. Now, we do the next step. Which is, luckily, still in the light world, as I remember. All of our all of our remaining steps are in the light world, and I hope they all work. Where am I going? Yeah, I want to go here. Alright. Faster, Link! Damn it. Alright, so what are we doing in Lupo Quarry in the Light World? Ooh, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Parallel World. Damn it. Damn it. Here's what we're doing. There it is. Throw this mushroom in the light world pond, I believe. And now let's see if we get anything for it. Yes, it looks like we will. And I sure hope it's Bombos. It is Bombos. Alright. I didn't read that other special message, and I don't really care. <laughs> I think I'll just continue recording and split the episodes. Okay, now we have one problem left. We had to get rid of our 100% completion magic powder in order to do that. But, what I'm hoping for is a small fix that would probably be present in A Link to the Past's engine. So we're going to go check that right now. And if so, fantastic. Also, I do want to clarify something, like... I know that since I don't have that other piece of heart that gives me like 20 and a fourth that... You know, don't, don't even start complaining to me that that means this isn't a 100% run. It totally is, and you know it. <laughs> it totally is. Alright. Let's see if my theory is correct. And I sure hope it is, because otherwise, I... Alright! There we go. We get the powder right back. So there it is. This spot in between here, I'm told, is empty, which means we're done. We have everything possible that we can get in this game, other than that, that extra piece of heart, or however many there are, but, you know, we've got 20 heart containers, so it counts. We're done. Taste a sample of stupid potion, and now we're gonna buy a bunch of this stuff. Buy more, Link? Yeah! Everyone's familiar with this procedure. Because when you buy a crap load of blue potions in a Zelda game, that can only mean one thing. And you know what, I don't think we're going to need... Eh, uh, I'll get a red one. Because everyone always gets like four blue potions, you know, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna get three blue and one red. Because our magic recharges on its own anyway. And we sure as hell don't have enough arrows to fight Ganon right now. But we're gonna go fix that. How are we going to fix that? By spending even more money. Alright. Ah, hell. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm a bit ahead of myself here. Okay. So there's our nice, shiny, complete inventory, even though there's that spot open. You know, I do have a question, though. I wonder why they didn't make it so that that second mushroom could go in that empty spot. I mean, you know, then it would have had some use to it, but whatever. 
they probably couldn't fix it or something like they, that map issue where they ended up creating the tablet things because of it and whatnot. Speaking of which, we've got everything now, which means that we're going to get whatever that secret bonus is. Well, I'm kind of half screwing around with you guys because I, I know what the bonus is, but, you know, you don't, maybe. Hooray! Nobody spoil what the bonus is. Anyway. So now what we're going to do is Bombos. Because it's cool. It's cool like Carlito. That looks like a potion on the right. Did you guys see that sprite glitch? It's kind of cool. Alright, here we go. Going back to the Master Sword area. Oh man. I can never keep my magical powers. It's magic. Alright, here we are again. At the not so great pyramid. I can't believe I avoided it that time. Oh, these things are gonna lag it if I dash charge rather. I keep on it. I keep wanting to say dash glitch because of that stupid link to the past problem I'm having. And I apologize about that, guys. I mean, I know it's been a long time since I've hit 100 subscribers, but I just don't think I can do that speedrun without using uh, the dash glitch. So I don't know. I might skip it all together, or I might find something else to do. Like, someone had suggested that I could substitute a, a no-hit challenge or something. I mean, I was thinking of other games I could speed... Oh, crap, he's still not dead. I was thinking of other Zelda games I could speed around in place, maybe, but I can't think of any, like, within reason that haven't been done to death, like the original one, of course, that I could do in a hundred minutes, maybe. I mean, in a hundred minutes is too long for the original anyway, so, you know. I don't know, it's time to get some more arrows. And like I said before, I don't really care about getting 99 of this either. I mean, I don't, I don't think it, I don't think it should count as a, I don't know, whatever. Just give me, just give me. 70 arrows. Alright. More money throwing. Do I have, would I have enough to get everything 99? I don't know how many bombs I have total. I think I've only got 40 bombs total. I completely forget. Uh, well, I guess I'll keep throwing money in the stupid pond. And you know what? I have absolutely nothing interesting to say, so I'm just going to cut it here. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>